Walking down the aisle can be scary, but what's perhaps more frightening is not having a venue, dress, or flowers after it's all paid for. It's been a reality for some soon-to-be newlyweds during the pandemic. Everybody canceled their weddings, postponing. Manager and wedding consultant at Lawrence Mayor Flores Joyce Freeman says canceling a wedding is hard. That's why she encourages her clients to reschedule instead. Couples are moving forward with their weddings. And uh, as I said, they just cut down on the number of guests. That way they're following CDC guidelines and won't lose their deposit. Freeman says at Lawrence Mayor, the deposit fee is non-refundable because of all the work that is done in the background. She says besides providing flowers, the shop also assists with finding venues and other vendors. The booking and then all the time that's spent putting it together. Angleside Bridal Informals owner Jen Lasky says her bridal shop does not give dress refunds due to a canceled wedding. She adds they also do not have a return policy. We really only know of one that completely canceled. According to Lasky, if a wedding dress or a bridesmaid's dress is on layaway and the wedding is canceled, the client does not get reimbursed and the shop is stuck with those dresses. If it's a layaway, it's been off our floor, so we've missed sales. The bridal shop owner says if a woman is in need of alterations, she's asked to get changes done a month in advance. Freeman says when it comes to securing a venue, she also encourages early booking. According to Calvin Collins with the Better Business Bureau, it's all about preparation and communication during the pandemic. He says couples should get their orders out months in advance, check their contracts, then ask questions just so that everybody's on the same page. What if there's a uh, pandemic? You know, that in 2000, uh, 2019, that didn't occur to us, but in 2020, now the question is, what if a major pandemic happens? What's, what's going to happen to my deposit? Am I going to be able to change it? Collins says making businesses are usually good with solving client complaints, but says if they don't, you can contact the Better Business Bureau to help find a mutual resolution. In Macon, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News.